Oh yeah, another Sears Village Agility course that I have to complete. Hello guys and welcome to my new progress video. In this episode I'm trying to get all the requirements I need for a Western Elite Diary, so enjoy. I thought it's gonna take two days to get 85 Agility, but so damn I was wrong. It took me a whole week of pure grinding to get to 85. While getting 85 Agility I've gotten 627 marks of grace, which then can be turned into Amelies and then then they can be made into stamina potions just by mixing them. I used up all of my Marxes of Grace which I gathered and I have 82 super energy potions left and that means they will just sit there for a while in my bank. And the next goal is to get 85 fletching to craft a magic longbow. Since I needed unfinished broad arrow tips I went to the Slayer Master and I thought if I'm there I might look at the rewards which I can unlock with my Slayer points because I don't have time otherwise. I also would like to unlock Shroom's Prayer because if I get a Zag on my task I would like it to be a fast one. Using my mathematical knowledge I need 160k arrow shafts to get to 85 but I thought I'm gonna make 200k because I need to make a little bit extra so I don't need to work later. And I forgot to mention I'm only 71 fletching. I'm gonna use maple logs because I don't have any use for these logs and they are really disposable. Well that was the easiest part of this grind because now I will need to get enough cash to buy myself broad arrow tips from any slayer master. Time to elk everything I had in my bank so I could get a a little bit of GP that I haven't actually used anywhere. Now you see the last stuff I out for this. That means I don't have any more gold in my bank that is hidden from me. And I will spend all of this to buy broad arrow tips. Just by looking at my inventory when I have 121k broad arrowheads you can tell that I pretty much ran out of gold. Which I need to complete this whole 200 or 165k endeavor. So now I guess it's time to get some money back. And I know quite a few places to do that. And firstly I think we're gonna need to visit gargoyles here. I chose gargoyles for a very specific reason. You know that I have all of the barrels items in the game. I mean I have barrels green log. So that means I have full gothons and that is the best way to afk and get money there. I think I did gargoyles for 10 hours because my gothons equipment is broken. So that is one way to put it to count time when you are grinding something. And here is the price check from 10 hours of doing gargoyles. And as you can see it's not much considering it was 10 hours but I was pretty much 100% AFK and just barely looked at the screen when I had time when I was doing something else. I'm not quite sure this will be enough for 200k broad arrowheads so it means I have to buy like 80k. I don't think this will be enough but we'll see when we get there. I think 184k of broad arrowheads will be plenty for this. So now we're gonna buy feathers from Port Salem's shop because it's the most stocked shop in the runescape. Well, we are about ready to get our 85 fletching. I thought I said 200k of these, but I realized that will take too much time because I've spent 10 hours at gargoyles and that was still not enough to get to 200k of everything, aside from arrow shafts. I think it's gonna be a lot of clicking, but we're gonna get it done. Oh hell yeah, we have 184k broad arrowheads and 185k headless arrows. So now we can actually start making the arrows which give the most experience here. So let's actually- Oh, <laughs> these XP drops. Oh, it's so satisfying. I cannot say that. When I went from uh, doing this and getting like 15 experience and now to getting 150, it's like 10 times more. It's, it's so exciting. 10 more levels to go.
I think it's the last inventory I will have to complete to get to 84, but it turns out I don't have enough headless arrow and broad arrowheads to complete this task, getting to 85. So that means we're gonna need to come back and make some more gold, or we can just finish that by doing some actual fletching, like making bows. I checked how many bows I need to get to 85, and it turns out it's 4095 U longbows. Here you can see my grand finale, and I've gotten myself 85 fletching by just doing you longbows unfinished unstrung i don't know if the, how <laughs> how they are called so we have finished our goal here i realized that i need 85 thieving for uh, western elite diaries so now it's time for blackjacking again so we are going to the same old camp and we need to club a lot of desert guys That is so hard to grind, especially after a long day of doing something. Yep, two more levels to go here. So we are continuing on, on actually just bashing this guy. 85 thieving. Oh, oh. Now we, I think we need to catch chompies. It's about time I have destroyed the whole chompy population, so I'm back there again. This activity is quite boring, so I don't have anything else to say about that. I just grinded 1k of chompies and I have left that place for good. A at least I think so, because I don't need the pet, so I'm just gonna abandon this activity after this endeavor. So basically only the slayer now is left, and that is a, that is a tall order for me. Thank you for watching, Lair will be done in the next episode and hopefully we can complete Western Elite Diary which I worked so hard to get to.